Okay, right, well thanks for coming. Um, I know there's been a huge amount of interest uh, in the um, sewerage charge since it was introduced uh, earlier this year. Uh, and uh, I will be making the following statement to uh, members of Timwald this afternoon, which I shall read for you um, now. The Manx Utilities Authority is a statutory board of Timwald and is responsible for, amongst other essential services, sewerage treatment and sewerage systems. The purpose of my statement today is to inform Timwald members that the authority intends to introduce a more equitable method of charging for its sewerage operations. As part of the government's rebalancing strategy, there has been a reduction in sewerage grants provided by Treasury to Manx Utilities. It is planned to eliminate this revenue grant completely, ramping down to a final support payment in 2017 and 2018. In addition, Treasury now requires the Manx Utilities Authority to meet the full cost of its sewerage capital loan repayments and further, Manx Utilities will also have to pay increasing interest charges to Treasury on these debts. In combination, these three budget rebalancing changes will require Manx Utilities to secure an additional income of £10 million per annum by 2021. In order to avoid going into deficit, the Council of Ministers agreed and Tinwald approved the introduction of sewerage charges from the 1st of April 2014. As members of Tinwald will be aware, this was set at £50 per property for the current financial year and that it would be necessary to increase this to £100 per property for 2015 and 16 in order to meet the increasing shortfall in Treasury, comp con treasury contributions as I have just highlighted. The authority recognises that the sewerage charge has been controversial and is perceived by many to be inequitable and unfair. The Board has subsequently been working with Treasury to identify a more reasonable charging mechanism to take effect from the 1st of April 2015. The most practical option is to introduce a sewerage rate. The sewerage rate would replace the sewerage charge for properties served by the public sewerage system from the start of next financial year. However, in order to achieve this, it will be necessary to amend the Sewerage Act. The proposal is that the new sewerage rate will be set at approximately 62 pence in the pound for 2015-2016. And it is considered that this approach will achieve a more equitable spread than an equivalent £100 flat fee sewerage charge. I would encourage Tinwald members to support the implementation of the sewerage rate within the, the short time frame available in order to avoid any future use of the sewerage charge. As previously stated to Tinwald, it is proposed the charge for emptying septic tanks will rise to £100 per empty from the 1st of April 2015. In addition, the authority will consult on the proposed implementation of consenting and charging regime for the reception and treatment of trade effluents at the sewerage treatment works. Thank you. So I will now take any, uh, any questions. Mr Cannon, you've always been against this toilet tax, have you not? No. So you're not? No, I was against the flat fee charge. But So you're in agreement that it has to be found though, but you were... You didn't like the way it was, so this obviously is what you've worked out to get, is it? You've been behind this? Well, when I agreed to become the chairman of the Manx Utilities Authority, <coughs> I did so on the basis that we would seek to find a fairer or more equitable way to implement this charge. Um, and that is what uh, the board was in agreement with when I um, joined, and that is what uh, I believe um, we have done. Now, it... It's not a perfect system by any stretch of the imagination, but it is much more equitable than the flat fee system. And given the current direction that, that Treasury are going with having to rebalance the books and the responsibilities that the board have to maintain uh, a, f f you know, a fiscal um, security for the, for the company, uh, for the Manchester Utilities Authority, then not going down this route would have... Would have been unacceptable in terms of good governance for the Max Utilities Authority. So uh, whilst I think the bigger question is going to be around in the future whether the government 
should provide some sort of support to the utilities authority um, or whether we should just carry on down this route um, which in my view um, you know is going to add uh, as far as the charge, sewage charge goes at least 50 pounds per year for the next uh, three three or four years so um, that I think that's the that's the big um, question just to be sorry just to be absolutely clear so People were paying fifty pounds this financial year. They were going to be paying a hundred pounds next year. How much are they paying? Are they going to pay next year? Then? Well, because it was a flat fee of fifty pounds for, for for this financial year. Yes, for next financial year, the charge under the flat fee would have been one hundred pounds. And we were conscious that just doing a flat fee structure of one hundred pounds um, per property raised a huge numbers of a huge numbers of questions about you know, being inequitable and being unfair. Uh, and to us, the fairest rate, uh, fairest way was therefore to put it onto the rates. Uh, therefore, the calculation in order to make the 100 pounds uh, effectively come in was to put a 62 pence rate uh, in, in, in the pound on, you know, on, onto rateable values. So that will then be reflected, depending on your rateable value, will be depending on how much you actually pay. So. Uh, I think we've worked out the mean value to be £160 as the rateable value. So properties less, uh, who, whose properties are rated at less than £160 uh, will pay effectively less than the £100 charge, uh, depending on the, on the rateable value. Or if, it, if the property is rated over £160, then you'll find that they'll be paying slightly more. But, you know, we've done a lot of research and we've, we've tried to do as much uh, uh, looking into property values as, as possible. And uh, generally speaking, 70% um, of rated properties fall below the, seven, uh, the 160 pound mark. Um, so we, we're fairly confident that 70% of uh, rate payers we think will adequately Is there an average amount? Well, from, from this year, you're going to see the value. So, if it's less than £160, um, you may well find that, that your total sewerage charge. In the water rates, is it? Or average rate on the on the rates. And it's based on the system. More equitable, is it? Because there's obviously a lot of criticism that the actual rate system is inequitable and you need a rates revaluation. Well, as board has a recommendation from a from a committee, rates revaluation should take place. Uh, lower asset value or lo lower lower income levels will be living in a less expensive property than someone with a higher income level, then I think that we're, overall we're applying this on a much more equitable basis. Okay.